for the RCB, the best channel on YouTube. The year was 1992. Whilst people were dancing to Ebenezer Good. Naughty, naughty, most definitely naughty, wicked. In between viewings of Batman Returns. Viewing alert, someone is stealing Gotham City's power supply. Danger of citywide blackout. When you want a Diet Coke, you want a Diet Coke. After all, there's just one. Diet Coke. Just for the taste. A boat destined to Tacoma, Washington from Hong Kong held a container. A container of 28,800 rubber ducks. But it wasn't just rubber ducks in the container. There was red beavers, green frogs, and blue turtles. During a storm in the North Pacific Ocean, 12 containers were washed overboard, including the container holding the friendly floaties. Ten months later, the first floaties began to wash upon the shore of Alaska, 2,000 miles from their starting point. Using models to predict the location of the floaties, it was predicted that many of the remaining floaties would have travelled to Alaska, then west to Japan, then back to Alaska, then drifted north and become trapped in the Arctic ice. Moving slowly with the ice across the pole, they predicted it would take five to six years for the toys to reach the North Atlantic, and a $1,000 award was offered to anyone in Canada or Iceland who could find one. More of the toys were discovered in the year of 2004 than ever before. However, more of the toys were predicted to have headed eastward, past Greenland, and make landfall on the southwest shore of the UK in 2007. And in July 2007, a retired school teacher found a plastic duck on the Devon coast. This was the last known sighting of a friendly floaty. But their story lives on. Two children's books have been based upon the story. Eve Bunting's Ducky and Very Hungry Caterpillar writer Eric Carle wrote the book Ten Little Rubber Ducks based upon the journey of the 28,000 rubber ducks. And an award-winning book titled Moby Duck was written by Donovan Hon, documenting the story. And the toys themselves now sell for prices as high as $1,000. So if you're out on a stroll by the sea, keep an eye out for our floating friends, as they've been on quite the journey. Oh, oh, oh.